I used to stand in front of the mirror and just dream of being on stage performing for people. That's why it's so important for a young person to have a support system to keep that passion alive. As a young teenager, having music was everything. If I didn't have that catharsis, that, that therapy for myself, oh man, it would have gotten much worse. I was bullied a lot. I was teased a lot. My neighborhood, pretty dingy, wasn't very well off. Domestic abuse, we had two crack houses on our street. That kind of oppressive negativity, you know, it's residual. It stays with you for a little bit, but the things that got me through it, I had family and friends and teachers that were willing to show me how passionate you can be with the thing that I already loved, which was music. He started playing trumpet, but that kind of went south because he had braces, it didn't work. And he came to me and said, I just quit, you know, I just, okay. I said, why don't you play drums? You're always over there pecking on the drums. You let me play drums? Yeah. just had this gift. We, we knew it was simply a gift. There's no way a kid comes in a semester from, oh, I think I want to play trumpet, to playing the drums as if he were, you know, <laughs> Buddy Rich or something. If it hadn't been drums, we're going to go into something. Because I, we're seeing that little kid's fire, I'm not going to lose him. Richard Motto is my greatest mentor. I don't think I'd be here today doing my band if I didn't have him. Every face along the boulevard is a dreamer just but nobody knows you now When you die in Italy And nobody owes you now When you die in Italy When you die in Italy Oh, what he does, he's a, he's a phenomenal entertainer, but what he is is a really nice guy. Brendan has been able to create collective joy. He can tie people together and have them love each other for having shared the same experience. The sense of community that he builds around himself, like it, it comes from the artist. His willingness to give to everyone makes me wanna do that too. To be where I'm at, doing the things I've always wanted to do, I think it is important to take a stand and show by example. So now, the fact that State Farm gave me this opportunity to be a mentor, to try to share what I know, and hopefully that will build a confidence that maybe these young people didn't know they had. If you just dedicate the smallest amount of your time, the amount of impact you can have, it's unreal. Oh man, I'm excited. That's gonna be so wild. State Farm's Neighborhood of Good makes it easy to give back to your neighborhood. Visit neighborhoodofgood.com to give back today. I had just turned 18, and at that age, with all of that angst, it's so ripe. It's just ripe for art. I told my parents that I want to make music. I didn't want to go to college, and if you knew my parents, that is devastating. There was some conflict in the beginning, and both of us did things that hurt the other. My parents basically kicked me out of the house. And I knew that that must have been one of the scariest times in his life. I was looking for apartments, crashing at friends' houses. I messed up as a parent sometimes. As a mom, I hurt for that. And then I got a care package from my family and a letter. Essentially it said, we love you no matter what. We are so proud of you. We support you in anything you do. We're all gonna get through this. I know that you're far away, um, but you're still right here. I was so fortunate to have that support system. And I know that there's so many more struggles happening for people. And the only thing that makes it really better is us helping each other out. And State Farm is willing to collaborate with me to build something greater? What's more rock star than that? Hey, look, Mom, hey. I just arrived at the Boys and Girls Club of Indianapolis, and I'm here to become a mentor. Hi. Are you Cece? <laughs> I am Cece. Oh my God, hello. <laughs> I've always had a passion for working with teens. It's just the joy of being a mentor and being able to help them and lead them. When I'm like talking to these kids, what should be the forefront thought of my mind? I think the first step is getting over that, you know, worry of like, how do I even begin? Because it is daunting. I think it's more of just showing up, giving your time. You know, just 
be yourself. Well, another piece of advice that I can give is be consistent. It's not like you have to have a set schedule, like just come back. Right. Yeah. Obviously, if you have a, a shared passion or skill set, like, you know, with music, with Miss Cece, that's a good end for her. Would you like to see the music room? Yeah, let's go. Oh my, awesome. <laughs> To make someone else happy, to put a smile on their face, to cheer them up, it warms my heart. It's one thing to empathize with people. It's another to go out and do it. And I've empathized for so long that I am so ready to go out and do. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. Whatever your biggest passion is, I would say just pursue that. That's going to make you the happiest, and that's true success to me. Do you guys want to play around or do something? Yeah. I've been running since third grade, but I've been rapping since six. Dropping out ain't my thing. Dropping out ain't my thing. I might put him, his name in my song, my next one. You can do anything you put your mind to. They already had this fire building for so long. All they need is that little spark. And if I can be that spark, how beautiful. You get a lyric in your head. So then you go write it in your journal. What's your next step? It felt really, really good to actually meet him in person. I opened right up to him and we both started talking. These kids are so impressive. I've never had anything like it. And the great thing is, we all have something to offer. Everyone can make a difference. State Farm opened up my eyes to turning caring into doing, and I cannot wait to do this again. State Farm's Neighborhood of Good makes it easy to give back to your neighborhood. Visit neighborhoodofgood.com to give back today. The first split that Panic had, I was very depressed. I sometimes wouldn't leave my house for weeks. One of my greatest friends and greatest mentors, Rob Mathis, he said, dude, just show up. If you just show up, things will happen. This isn't about you, you know? Get out of your head. And I just started showing up to the places that people were asking me to go and great things started happening. You know what matters? People being happy. And how do we do that? You can go and volunteer your time. It's much easier than you think. State Farm has showed me that. So I'm in Chicago at the moment at the James R. Jordan Boys and Girls Club and I hear they have a phenomenal music program. Let's go check it out. We are in our Notes for Notes Chicago studio in the Boys and Girls Club. The reason Notes for Notes is partnered with Boys and Girls Clubs is we share the same mission and alignment, which is we're here to help put children on positive paths. For us, we use music. What? The point was to have a space to be a good mentor, but use music as sort of like the platform to engage right away. We want to give them something that are like, no, you're worthy of a place that's gonna make you awesome. So what's, what's the best piece of advice you can give me for being a mentor today? I noticed that when my guard's up a little bit, that you know, that you feel it. Yeah. So if I'm relaxed, usually they'll sort of ease back. Cool. You have to trust that like, even if you never see the payoff, every bit of time you invest in something will make a difference. I'm ready to have fun. Like that's probably the thing. That's, okay, so that's, that's, that's if that's piece. the thing, then. Yeah. So the big idea for today is have you listen to one of the tracks that youth have made in the studio that we think is just ripe for a collaboration. I was a little bit nervous going into it, but when I stepped in that room, it felt like I was back in my studio. Just creative minds working together, that's what it's all about. Like this already, like hearing this track, I'm like, oh man, there's so many ideas we could do. Sorry, I'm just like, now I'm just like, all right, let's get I'm a like, song going. Mike is on. <laughs> Hell yeah, get in here. D yeah, dumb. Okay. He was so encouraging. It was just free and it was fun. It was like working with one of my friends. Oh, oh going up, yeah, yeah. I think that a mentor can just be a little bit of a guiding light to sort of see through the hazy period of adolescence. I mean, it's inspiring to see artists like Brendan and State Farm coming together to give time to the youth in this studio. I want it all. Don't care what the amount it is if you mad, bro. That's sad, bro. Face a disease. I'm going to show you got it bad, bro. Yeah, I want to play a song for you guys. I wrote this because uh, when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of stuff, so I took a piece of cardboard and I cut it out into like a shape of a guitar, and I would just like rock out to whatever's on the radio, acting like I was on stage, just hoping, hoping, hoping that I would get there. And it's kind of like a love letter to my mom because she was the one that, that instilled that confidence in me, really. Mama said, don't give up. It's a little complicated. I'll tie up, no more love. And I'd hate to see you waiting. I 
think that today Brendan learned that he can be a good mentor. No matter if you're a superstar artist or if you're a neighbor, be involved and care about the communities around you. Just show up and then once you get there, then you'll see everything that's going on and it's gonna motivate you. State Farm's Neighborhood of Good makes it easy to give back to your neighborhood. Visit neighborhoodofgood.com to give back today. Richard Mata is one of the main reasons I'm here today. He taught me everything when I thought I knew nothing, and that made every difference. It's so important to have those people around you, whether they're teachers or family or friends. Everybody needs somebody to show them that the things you're passionate about, the things you really love to do, can create who you are. He was enthusiasm. He just brought energy into it, and, and he made it fun. He built up a confidence for us that we never had before as kids. He and I connected, and I realized that he had extraordinary talent. I couldn't wait to see Brendan come in every day just to hear him play. When I saw the two of them together, it's like this, this glow that starts from within their heart. To have that special connection made all the difference. I knew working with State Farm was going to be big and we were going to do great things. I didn't know it was going to be this great. When I met the kids in Chicago, we got to see the notes for notes. That was eye-opening to me. And I'm bringing it back to my hometown. I am feeling a wave of emotion of good. I just, I'm, I'm excited. Today we're introducing the first ever Notes for Notes in Las Vegas. This is not far from where I grew up, so this is a special neighborhood. It's all coming around. I get to pay it forward in the way it was paid to me as a child, so. Man, this is, this is everything today. This is gonna be great. Andy? All right, Brendan, yeah. Welcome home. Thanks, let's get right into it. Yeah. I've been brainstorming. Let's see. On some things here. These are the things that'll get them into that headspace of like, you know, having a vision. Dude. So. Yeah, buddy. That's, that's where my foundation came from, Highest Hopes Foundation. It was the idea you don't have to settle for anything less than the best. Just keep your hopes all the way up. He embodies that energy of what it means to be giving back. We've started something really special here. When we open these doors, like, it's just going to explode with music. I have a feeling that they're going to be excited. Um, I know I am. We actually have a really special surprise we're going to announce because our organization, Notes for Notes, with the help of Brendan, his foundation, Highest Hopes, and State Farm, right where you're standing, we're going to build a fully equipped staff professional recording studio. Legit. Yes. Full. <laughs> full professional. My best teacher I ever had, his name was Richard Mata. He knew that we loved music, and he cultivated this community for us to build that passion. So that's really what I want to give back. Thank Oh, Mr. Mata. When I stay on two. <laughs> this man is everything, all right? Having people like him, and it's clear the impact he's made in Brendan's life, and that's the same kind of impact we're going to try and make with this studio. Now the fact that you're bringing it to kids. Full circle. Talk about a circle, man. I love, I love you. It. I just, I love you. yo. And it's in Vegas. I mean, this is where it all got started. seeing my club getting rebuilt into something better. For him to come back to make the time for us, it just shows that like, oh wow, he cares. He didn't forget where he's from. He had someone to look up to. I see him affecting the lives of so many people for good, and I just, I tear up. All these kids are gonna be filled with wonder. Youth will walk through these doors and they'll find everything they need to be able to accomplish their dreams. Who knows when that spark is gonna hit? It can change lives. It, does. I'll probably make my own band of my own. State Farm has showed me amazing ways to activate yourself in your community through Neighborhood of Good. And it's not that hard. I mean, everybody can go online. It's so easy. And once you do that, when you just show up, something great is going to happen. 
State Farm's Neighborhood of Good makes it easy to give back to your neighborhood. Visit neighborhoodofgood.com to give back today. Music education for me practically saved my life when I was a teenager. If I did not have the access to music education, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And it wouldn't have been possible without other people involved, my family and, and other mentors from school. To be a part of something like a mentorship, it's just sharing a love that I have with everyone else that I can share it with. And State Farm has allowed me to do that. Hey, look, Ma, I made it. At Boys and Girls Club Chicago, it was the first time I heard about Notes for Notes. It was just so impressive, showing these kids what is possible in the world of music. You can learn to songwrite. We also have a music journalism. We have a podcast area. They were looking at every facet of the industry. I was feeling it all in here. It's like, saw myself at 12, 13 years old. From that get-go, it was like, well, how do we do this even more? State Farm, taking music education to the festivals, that excites me. The louder you're singing, the faster you're dancing, the more that you're giving into the experience, the more that you're giving back to music education. It's a beautiful idea. Brendan definitely inspires me to give back to the community. Just seeing Brendan and State Farm work with Notes for Notes makes us aware of that these programs exist for us to get involved with. I'm excited to see the Panic fans listening to the music, the silent disco, and they're dancing around. It proves to me that they are these fearless people who want to mobilize behind something they're passionate about. It's an overwhelmingly amazing feeling to be a part of something like this. State Farm was showing me we can shrink the world and grow the community. We're making the world smaller and building this amazing neighborhood of good. Spark is lit. There's no putting it out now, you know. State Farm and I are building a Notes for Notes in Las Vegas, my hometown. We're gonna open this baby and see how many kids we can educate. State Farm and I are building a studio in my hometown. We're gonna open this baby and see how many kids we can educate. Growing up in Las Vegas, having music as a passion, there weren't really places to showcase what you were writing and to have facilities where people can go and educate themselves on music. Like, this has been a long time coming and it just took me to get off my butt and say, let's do this thing. Brendan's value system really aligns well with our value system at State Farm. He is a model of inclusivity, and his ability to use that as a vessel to give back and help young kids in the Las Vegas community, that's what being a good neighbor is about. And Brendan Urey is such a great example of what a good neighbor can be. Both Brendan and Safe Arm have been mentors to our organization. They've given us the resources to do what we do best, which is build studios and be music mentors completely for free. Oh. My God. What? <laughs> yes. This is so unreal. Oh my God. <laughs> you have everything. I can't thank you enough. Absolutely wonderful. I think the most important thing about putting all this gear and making studios something so nice is when young people walk in, we're telling them you're worth this yes. space. Oh, and it smells like a fresh studio in here. <laughs> Dude! You know what makes me most excited about this right here? Is the height of the microphone. <laughs> that is, dude, because who else is singing on this? You know what I mean? Oh, Kids with Dreams, that's it. Let's get these kids in here. Let's just play some music or something. <laughs> I can tell you right now, if I had these tools at your age, Ben would have taken off when I was 12. Let's do it, you legends. <laughs> what, what chord are you playing? E major. E major, that's right, baby. <laughs> yeah, dude! It's official. To me, being a good neighbor is a synonym for being a good friend. You give respect and you get respect. It's never one-sided. Who doesn't love music? Everyone loves music. Now, everyone has the ability to make music. It's no longer us versus them, it's us. To have a place like this, it's an opportunity for young people to come in and learn about music, but also witness how people help each other and really be part of giving back in your community. I'm really excited to see, as they go back out into the community, how they give back to others. None of this would have been possible without all of the amazing creative minds behind this, you know, from State Farm, from Notes for Notes. On our end, my family jumping in and helping. It's just like, we did it. <laughs>